On today's episode of World of Micah, it's date night for Abby and I. We are heading to Walt Disney World where we're going to be visiting the Swan and Dolphin, Disney's Boardwalk, and Pop Century Resort. Now, let's take a closer look. Now, Abby and I were going to hop on the boat, but we decided since it's such a pretty day, we should walk by the Hollywood Tower Hotel, a local favorite here, and walk to the Dolphin Resort. Still looks eerie in the daytime. Now we're doing something new that neither one of us have ever done. We've actually yeah. never have gone to the Swan or the Dolphin. I feel like it's like a rare thing to say for us to, since we've been here for 10 years and came, come to, to do Disney. something new at yeah, Disney. Yeah, to do something new at Disney, like yeah. we, we rarely say that, but it's, I'm, I'm excited. I really yeah. am. Yeah, the Fountain is the name of the, the restaurant. It had kind of a mid-century 60s vibe to it. So I figured, why not? This is a beautiful walkway, by the way. You could take the Skyliner and it'll take you over to the hub area. Then you get on the other Skyliner, takes you over to the Riviera and then to Epcot. Or you could take one of the friendship boats they have over here and get over to the Swan and Dolphin. Or you can walk. And I like to walk here. And this is where we're gonna be eating. The Dolphin lower level, the Fountain. See the logo when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, that's totally us. Click on that QR code there and you guys can check out the menu yourself. Now I learned this last time I was here with Adam. This is the Michael Graves Causeway dedicated April, 2015 in memory of Michael Graves, 1934 to 2015. He designed the iconic Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphins. And this structure ranks among the top 70 American architecture projects of all time. It's pretty cool, man. Oh, and by the way, that's not the Michael Graves from the Misfits. <laughs> Even though I wonder if Michael Graves was into architectural design. We're doing something new. I'm nervous. I always get nervous when we do something new because, like I said, it's so foreign. Yeah? But yeah, I'm excited. It's so different, right? Yeah. Holy cow, Abby. Would you look at that? Isn't that crazy? That is you get crazy. to walk underneath the shell here. And we got to figure out, okay, the entrance is over here. I love these, these the style of these fish. It kind of reminds me of the, the fish from uh, bed knobs and broomsticks. Ooh, fresh Disney design carpet. Never seen this before. I'm going to walk through this. Come on, Abby, we got to walk through. Come on. Just like Elf. <laughs> we got to run around a couple of times, more times. Oh, there we go. We're doing it. <laughs> We're totally doing it. Wow. Wow, this place is pretty awesome looking. All right, here we go, inside the fountain. Man, this looks really, really cool. Yeah, this is the menu here. They have all kinds of different items. Burgers and sandwiches. Sodas, oh, they have the boiling craft soda. I get that at Old Town. Beers, they have different cupcakes and cookies and brownies and look at all the ice cream, Abby. They have a ton Holy of ice cream. Wow. And toppings. This menu, oh my gosh, they have sundaes. I didn't know that. Caramel apple pie sundae, are you kidding me? They have shakes. PB, they have a PB and J shake. Just like in Hollywood Studios. That's cool. Man, this is the brisket sandwich with the cheese, onions, mushrooms, french fries. I'm not sure what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, jalapenos on the side. You got the turkey burger. Yeah. That's awesome. Looks good. Yeah. Fries. I'm excited to try this. I didn't think it was going to come like in a, a sandwich like this, but man, this is great. It's kind of like a hoagie with the brisket in there. And I went with a peanut butter milkshake, and Abby went with this strawberry cookie. It's got cookies and cream, ice cream, strawberry, and Oreo on top. Holy cow, so I had no idea that the lobby was amazing. Dude, I'm obsessed with this guy. Is that like a koi fish? It looks like a koi fish. I love it. And we stepped into this place called Fuel. They have candy and assortment of coffee and pastries and look at this candy i think it's made out of candy mike wazowski 
but here he is. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. I did not realize that the steak shop here was named after Don Shula, head coach of the Miami Dolphins here. And they have a bunch of memorabilia, autograph stuff. I had no clue, Shula's Steakhouse was a Miami Dolphins reference. Well, if you go to Hollywood Studios, you really can't get an up-close personal photo like this with a droid. But here at the Swan and Dolphin, you can. They have a nice little photo op here. All right, we're heading out. We're gonna go take a walk around the boardwalk, head over to the Skyway, get on the, the Skyliner, call it the Skyway, the Skyliner, and then we're gonna go over to uh, Pop Century tonight. Dinner was delicious. My food was so good. Yeah, mine Yours, was really good too. The, the milkshakes, whew, They were so good. Were so good. And they give a AAA discount there. So if you have AAA, you can save 20%. But I just found one of the most pretty, like, photo spots here at the Swan and Dolphin. Check this out. Now, obviously, I could get the same shot of just Epcot. But look at that with the, the golden Florida sun and that bridge. That bridge over there to me is so cool. Well, we can officially say that we went inside the Dolphin Abbey. We did it. Now, next on the list is Swan. We're going to let you guys tell us what's the best place to eat inside Swan. You tell us where to go, and one of our next date nights, we'll do it, right? Yeah, you decide. I was just telling Abby this looks like the Disney Studios out in Burbank, where the seven dwarfs are up there holding the building up. We've been there before. We took a tour, just me and Abby and a dear friend, long time ago. Got a private tour of Walt's office and everything. It was incredible. But this, with especially with the, the sun on it, it's got that California golden sun, golden hour view, that little vibe, I guess I should say. That's awesome. This camera does not do that sunset justice. It's pretty. But we're heading in to Disney's Boardwalk. Dueling pianos here, jelly rolls. <clears throat> Just gonna give you guys a panoramic shot here of the, the boardwalk. All the boardwalk games are are open tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile too, making it look, so easy. look at this old hag. And they put two of my favorites together, Robin Hood and J. Thaddeus Toad. I came here last time, Carousel Coffee is closed. And I wanted to show Abby these from opening day. Julie Andrews there and what the teacups used to look like. We decided to take a left so we could walk by Yacht and Beach Club over here. And man, look at Spaceship Earth this evening. So pretty. That's so cool. I'm a boat guy. I really like boats. I like watching boats on water. I like just being by bodies of water. And this, this is it, man. Lighthouse, the moon, all the different boats. And here is the view of the boardwalk. This is ridiculous, but we're gonna walk in here just to, to smell this resort. We love the smell of the Yacht and Beach Club. Look at this, Beaches and Cream have their own merchandise now here at the Beach Club. We stepped over to the Beach Club. If you ever wanted to know what our house smelled like, it smells like the Beach Club made it to the Epcot area and we're gonna hop on the Skyliner and head over to Pop Century now. A minute ago we had some extra passengers on the Skyliner with us making the pit stop at the Riviera then heading over to Pop Century going our way over here. We got to see the, the fireworks from Magic Kingdom and got to see Spaceship Earth lit up at night. Now we're gonna ride over to the, uh, the, the station, the Skyliner station get on the next Skyliner and head over to Pop Century. This is fun, right? This is a lot of fun, yeah. We're about to take off, which is my favorite, <laughs> favorite part. 
was a bad glare, but here we go! Alright, one Skyliner down. We gotta head to the other side here. Rode the Skyliner over here and we were full in that Skyliner. There were six of us total in there. As you can see the fireworks over at uh, Epcot right now. Made it to Pop Century. How big do you think that blue and ugly is? Pretty big. Dude, this stuff is so awesome. Every time you look at that, X Files, Tim the Tool Man, Taylor, all these fitness workouts. Dude, look at that, Stony and Ceno, man. That's insane. Blues Clues, Barney. I had the Power Rangers. I had the Dreamcast. I had that virtual fishing. Definitely had the Wheel of Fortune. Remember that. I had this because it had the vocal thing you use. Had the Game Boy. Had Pokemon cards. Did not have Stoney's high school notebook. Abby, look at that. There's McDonald's and Teletubbies. The, the toy there. Wait a minute. That's the lean, mean, grilling machine. Dude, that's George Foreman. And he was a host on that Disney Inside Out show that we watch sometimes. Yep. Look at this little animation table here, Beauty and the Beast. Got some stuff from the 80s here, Star Wars. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at all these cassettes. Lionel Richie, Daryl Hall, and John Oates, Hall and Oates. That's cool. Atari up there. Got some Wonder Woman. Some 70s right there. Dukes of Hazard. Look at that. Taxi. It's Andy Kaufman right there. I love Andy Kaufman. Cookbooks here. Oh my gosh. Look at these 80 toys, man. Thundercats. Simon. Ninja Turtles. Talking Gumball Bank. Oh my gosh. There's Raiders. Tootsie. E.T. Up there. This one's my favorite, Abby. I have this book. We got this book That's a while so back. Cool. It has the big Disney logo on the front. Life Magazine, Opening Day, Look Magazine. I have that doggy bag too. That's right. Yep, and I have that Magic Kingdom one. I also have one that says the Tobacconist. I have this too. I got a lot of this stuff. That's pretty cool. Shaft. Got 007 there, Star Wars, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Got Kiss. It's Paul Stanley right there. Signed, Paul Stanley. Are these G.I. Joes? Oh my gosh, dude, I want the diver guy and the space guy. These are so cool, man. Oh, look, up there, signed by Julie Andrews. Right there. Sound of Music and then Mary Poppins book. And then here. Danger, Danger Will Robinson. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Space Kid at the Jetsons, my favorite Martian. Playing Elvis now in the background. No way. That's great. Got the Beatles up here. Man. Oh, the Beach Boys, I have this record. That's amazing. Dude, Sea Hunt, Abby pointed that out. That was filmed at Silver Springs where they filmed the creature from the Black Lagoon. Man, oh look, the Disneyland monorail game there. That's so cool. Dude, that's old school. Abby, that's signed by Roy Rogers and Trigger there. 77 Sunset Strip. The, the Honeymooners there. Jackie Gleason, Superman. That's a Frankie Avalon and Elvis. Those are 45s right there. Abby, is this your? Yeah, this is, this is my <laughs> That's case. all your stuff. <laughs> Vertigo and rear window in 3D. Oh man, what are these film canisters? I wonder what's on them. Got some more 50s over here. Look at that. Bowling. Jimi Hendrix playing in the background. What's over here? Oh man, the Mouseketeers. Hey, look, there's a Net Finicello. That's cool. Original Mickey and Minnie, the creepy. Mickey and Minnie, there's Bobby, Doreen, Walt from opening day. And then check this out, man. The original Cootie, the game of Cooties. Man, this is so cool. 
I've never actually looked at these photographs here. The drive-in, Gregory Peck, May West, and W.C. Fields. Hey, Abby, you think she likes James Dean? No, but I think that that's me as a kid right there, baby. Girl. That? Yes! Oh, <laughs> man, that's totally me as a kid. Heck yeah, kid, get it. <laughs> These are cool. Have a nice day. Hello, lady. And obviously in the middle, there's a doghouse. Hello, tramp. It's been a while since I've been here at Pop Century. Do love this resort. Man, that's pretty uh, picturesque right there. Wow. Dude, look at this projection over here in the 60s. Oh, hello. That's so cool. I was just telling Abby, I had this big wheel growing up and I used to pull that little sidebar, the brake bar, and drift like all the way down the street. <laughs> you gotta love the classic Mickey phone too. In the middle of the large foosball table. Dude, that's like the like largest Rubik's Cube I've ever seen in my life. I just noticed over here in the 70s, that's a mood ring right there, that's cool. But we have to come over here, see our old pal, Roger. There he is, Abby. <laughs> the only really place you can see a physical form of Roger and not a flat art piece. And the faces over here in the buildings, man, that's so old school Toontown, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the backside of Roger. And I'm so thankful you did open in 1971 Walt Disney World because this has become a place for us to visit our local park and also a place for us to go on evenings like today and just have some dinner and walk around and take in the, the sights. This was a lot of fun. But now we're gonna take the Skyliner all the way back to Hollywood Studios where we started off the evening. First, we gotta take off, Abby. Ooh. Over Hourglass Lake, and you can see our reflection. Can't even really see Hourglass Lake. There we go. Whee! Well, that's kind of weird looking. All the reflections. Ooh. But thanks for watching. Tag along with us. See you on the next episode. Stay weird. Bye.